Idea number seven, it's a small business idea. It's not really exploited right now, but I believe that it has potential and you could start to exploit an idea like this. Um, it's an idea which is more like uh, outdoorsy and more like environmental friendly. Um, compared to the previous idea about uh, growing mushrooms on logs so this is mushroom growing in your own garden in your own backyard or at a, a location that you really want to use for a procedure like this for an operation like this so how about growing mushrooms in your own garden just like you would grow vegetables uh, not only to grow mushrooms in those beds but also to combine growing mushrooms with growing in veggies why not um, if you're thinking both of them they need moisture they need water so when you're going to water your uh, veggies then uh, even your mushrooms they're going to get some moisture so you can grow them in parallel um, what kind of mushrooms are suitable or would be suitable for this I have here a small list but uh, of course you can get even more mushrooms in those beds if you want um, I'm thinking about oyster mushrooms uh, wine caps morels shaggy manes milky or calochibegum uh calochibe indica reishi and maitake you can try some other ones if you want like agrochibe ejerita or uh, maybe some uh, namiko so um if you're going to pick to grow morels like this you have to understand that to grow morels you gotta pick the right season and that's when there's plenty of moisture because morels they need a lot of moisture and also sandy soils and rather higher pH soils so uh, you gotta provide for each one of these mushrooms the proper conditions even if you're going to grow them like that and more else they will pop probably next year so or when the conditions will be uh, right for more else to pop now oysters you can grow and you'll have way faster oyster mushrooms um, for example I personally grew like this king oyster mushrooms and they popped in a month and a half and there were several flushes coming uh, every two weeks so it's possible and I think it's viable it's not fully exploited but uh, try it up and uh, see if it works for you um, now shaggy mains if you're going to try to grow shaggy mains <laughs> just make sure that uh, you're not going to keep those mushrooms fresh uh, you know shaggy maize it's uh, commonly known as the inky cap and that's going to have its uh, cap dissolving and turning into a black ink so you can't really stop that process you can lower down that process if you're going to take that mushroom and you're going to put it in water in a cool environment and stuff uh, but what you can do if you want to grow shaggy mains for example you can dry the fruit bodies and you can sell them like that um, just don't wait for it to turn into an ink okay so let's say that uh, you would start with four beds and each week every week you can put up a bed and the next week you can put another one third week another one and fourth week another one 
this way you will have a continuous flow of mushrooms popping over and over again and this is how you could supply your local markets uh, what you will need it's water of course you have to go up there and water the mushrooms and veggies you will need shade so try not to leave those mushrooms out there growing in a full sun open sun but uh, provide them with some shade you can cover with some kind of net or you can have these beds right next to a wall uh, which would function as a buffer against strong winds and and um, you know temperature high temperatures so <clears throat> yeah you'll need some shade but you have to understand that if you'll combine that with veggies and if you'll use broadleaf veggies then even those veggies will provide your mushrooms some shade so that's a very good combination right there um, spawn you will need also spawn for this operation and you'll need substrate what kind of substrate as I told you for morales you would need mulch or wood chips sand you'll need the uh, ash um, or some kind of pH increasing agent um, for milky these are wood decomposers so you will need wood shavings or wood chips uh, you can actually combine wood shavings uh, small fragments with wood chips uh, bigger fragments and this is going to provide you with more flashes in time as the mushroom decomposes the substrate so um, <clears throat> let's look a little bit uh, on um, on the business model or the business potential of uh, business model like this the yield well the yield it's questionable and depends very much on the climate conditions out there and also on the spawning rate I would recommend you to to use a spawn rate of at least 20% in this case or more up to 50 percent so when you're going to grow mushrooms like this you need a lot of spawn to use for for this operation um, that's why spawn if you're going to purchase that it's going to kind of uh, be quite costly but if you're going to make that spawn yourself that's uh, going to lift up your your uh, business profits in this case and what you get when you'll get you'll see robust fruit bodies it's it's amazing when i saw that huge cluster of uh, king oyster that i grew like this uh, it was like crazy really crazy to me you can get some really robust fruit bodies and when you'll take those fruit bodies to your local market or to the restaurants and show those clusters to your chefs you'll be like oh my god so yeah it has potential um let's say that you would get a bag of 40 pounds of substrate some kind of chips or um some kind of mulch uh, for five dollars some substrates you can get for 35 cents a pound or even less than that depends depends where you go or if you have that substrate for free then just use that um, and then you'll let's say that you, you don't have spawn so you, you'll have to purchase that spawn 10 pound bag of spawn would cost you 30 bucks and another 35 bucks just the shipping so that's about 70 dollars right there 
only for spawn if you add the substrate the 40 pounds of substrate to it the uh, that's going to be 70 <laughs> yeah, in total so in the case of king oyster you will get three to four flushes uh, but you can try some other kinds of uh, mushrooms and you will see more exactly how many mushrooms you can get on a particular surface and depending on the substrate that you used um, I would really encourage you to try the milky just because the chefs at the restaurants I would appreciate a mushroom like that very much now this is grown in the spring summer fall early fall but not in the winter uh, you can grow king oysters for a cooler uh, season you can uh, play around with the seasons and with the mushroom types that you want to grow and as I told you the wait time it's in this case it's one month one month and a half um, it's different than waiting a year like you would grow mushrooms on logs and I believe that this is a better idea and uh, if you have a good strategy just playing around with your beds right there then you can have that continuous flow of mushrooms for your local market the investment it's low you can start this with a hundred dollars in your pocket as well um, but in this case probably you will be able to um, inoculate one bed unless you're making your own spawn if you have to purchase that spawn then you'll pay this much but if you're making your own spawn this will enable you to use that 20 up to 50 percent of spawn rate so in that case you can uh, inoculate uh, four beds like this one week apart um, otherwise you can use $100 just to inoculate and start with one bed but yes you can start this business model with a hundred dollars in your pocket who's this suitable for I would say that this would be suitable for um, small businesses or people that want a more natural approach um, to grow mushrooms uh, this way and people that are interested in growing some mushroom types that um, are rather hard to grow like the morel mushrooms I don't know if you're familiar with those uh, Chinese huge farms growing mushrooms this way um, they have kind of uh, greenhouses but they're more like covered um, very poorly covered mushroom beds out outdoors outdoor mushroom beds and they grow morels like that so if you're thinking about the price that it's uh, it's known for morels in the US between 30 to 40 dollars per uh, uh, pound of fresh morels I would say 40 40 dollars yeah so if you start to grow morels and you develop a method and it works you can patent that method and you can sell it to some other third parties that want to uh, implement or if they want to grow morels that way so um, yeah you can make uh, a lot of cash like that or you can try some other uh, mushroom types like reishi for example 
we can make even synthetic logs you know just sawdust and uh, you can inoculate those logs and you can put them under uh, the ground under soil you can put uh, a kind of casing layer on top of them in the garden and then you have reishi growing in there and this is how it's done in Asia and it can be done here as well so what would be the challenges the yield first of all because it depends very much on the climate and on the spawning rate that you used and uh, if you have shade or con uh, if you sprinkle enough water on those beds and all of that so it depends on a complex of factors and then it's the climate and the water as i said marketing local restaurants farmers markets local uh, shops so yes there will be demand for it and you can use a strategy like that to supply these uh, guys here with a continuous flow of mushrooms I don't know any success stories with this idea implementation but I believe that this is more like a novel thing so you can try it up and see how it works for you and if you're going to get somewhere with it then let me know the modules that you can use um, to find out how to do the whole process you'll find in the outdoor uh, mushroom growing how to's module that <coughs> I'll have you can find their instructions the step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, start an operation like this and what you exactly need and how to do it exactly um, yeah so I believe that this uh, model is much better than growing mushrooms on logs as I said and I believe that it has potential and I invite you to try it up um, you can combine this with uh, some other operations other ideas that i already discussed and yeah should work